There's gonna be a little scene. Okay, so let's go. Uh, let's hit Control A in, in uh, on this one. Not you. Not you. I'm gonna delete uh, the bits and bobs in this thing here. Um, now, what is the? Okay, what are we gonna do? I think first step is to build the the scene itself. Let's go 256 by 256 by 100. There we go. Um, step one, I'm gonna build uh, what will become the ground, and I think I'm gonna go change this to palette three. We're gonna start down here. Um, yeah, cool. All right, let's go to attach. I'm gonna, gonna kind of like speed run this a little bit today. I think I've got some stuff I need to take care of. So, um, for that, I don't wanna, I'm going to, let's go uh, X, Y. So here we go. Make the symmetry there. Uh, let me see, I'm gonna avoid one of those. Which one is it, this one? Nope, so that's Y, let's go X. All right, cool. I think that's good. Let me erase some of this here. It's like staying in this direction. I think that works. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and just take this down because the scene that I'm building is just going to, it's going to be like a little pool here. And I think what I want to do uh, is let's change the ground color to the color that it is in the picture that I am I am using as a guide. G-U-I-D-E. Uh, that's a little, I need to put more tan into it. I think it's a little more brown, so let's go over here. I'm just eyeballing it. Okay, that's that looks pretty good. Okay, now one more thing I want to do is go to uh, paint, and I'm going to go ahead and click on this other color. Click on it with the mouse, you know, as the mouse does. You're going to click on it, not like as in it's a uh, um, you know, not, like a click. I guess clicks are usually bigger in like school. I don't know. I, was, I don't think I've really seen many clicks since I got older. I mean, I'm sure they're clicks. You know, groups of people who uh, who um, who who tend to like-minded individuals. Maybe not even like-minded. Maybe hive-minded individuals. You know, people who 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 find uh, who find some kind of uh, benefit to existing within the same like mental sphere. Sphere may not be the best word. Let's see. All right, so I'm going to go there. We're going to attach this to here. Go to attach. Something like that, I feel like. I think that, that captures the spirit of what I'm trying to do. So let's go to render. I'm going to turn that into water. Also, I should probably put something underneath here. Um, so that I can get the... Uh, I can get the... So you can have a, at least just have a floor surface. I don't really know. I'm going to be kind of uh, freestyling this a little bit. There's not a lot of go to go on with the uh, not a lot to go on with the uh, the picture itself. I think here let's go to transparency, transparency, and turn roughness down. Um, okay, I got an idea. We're gonna go back to model. Let's go to erase this, erase you. I'm gonna go ahead and take what will probably be one of these right here. I'm gonna go back to this color and I'm gonna attach on the bottom here. I'm going to take this right here and just kind of wrap it around as well. So I'm going to go to paint. Um, eh, not quite. Eh, you know what? Nice try. Nice try. So I'm going to take also, uh, if I go shift here, I think, no, not that one. Control. One of these. One of these control. I think, yeah, control allows you to move what you're, what you're working with, the color. So I just shifted those up there. So I'm going to take this color and I'm going to make uh, like a little spectrum here of, uh, which one do I want? Not that one. Take which one? Okay, probably maybe this one. Uh, I'm gonna take this color here as a guide, and I'm gonna use this to go just a little. Oops, wrong thing. I'm gonna go over here, and I'll make it a little bit there. All I want is a little variance in the in the flooring. It's not gonna be as visible. Oops, wrong thing. Okay, I'll take just a second. Something like that, maybe. Control Shift. Uh, yeah, Control Alt, drag it over. Um, all right. So we got like a little bit of a of a thing here. Let me ch let me put this uh, paint this whole surface here. This color. Let me see, maybe this color. Yeah, just a little bit. I want to because I want to make this a different material also. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this. Uh, let's make that metal. I'm gonna change the metallic quality of it up a little bit. I'm gonna turn it up and beef it up, and then I'm gonna go back into the uh, the model here. Speed running some voxel art. 
Uh, that's just how we're doing it this morning because I got a couple things I need to take care of. So we got that right there. And I think I'm going to take this this color here. I'm going to alt and grab paint and I'll grab this line tool. I hope everybody had a good night. Uh, or good evening. Good uh, good whatever. Bon nuit. I ended up watching like uh, documentaries about uh, a cult in the suburbs and now I am paranoid that everybody I meet is a cultist. I actually don't really care. I don't. I don't think there's... I don't think I, I think, let's see, alt, that, that works. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like that a little bit. Um, I think that works. So let's go render. I'm going to change the pool water, which is not drinkable. I would not recommend, I mean, you could probably drink pool water. I think we've all drank pool water in the past. I would not recommend doing it. And if you did do it, I would not recommend you listening to me right now as, and using me as a guide. For um, pool water, if if you don't don't, I I'm not a connoisseur of pool water is what I'm trying to say. I I don't think I would feel comfortable giving advice on whether or not you should drink pool water. My my point being is I think we all do it. I think we all I think we all from time to time drink pool water. You know it's not like it's a uh, it's not like it's impossible to happen. You jump into a pool. I mean water gets in all your meatus, all your holes. You know it gets in your ears, it gets in your nose, it gets in your face, your mouth. Um, again, you know. It's early. I'm just I'm, I'm just experimenting with words. You know, don't don't hold it against me. I'm gonna go back to transparency all the way up. Uh, density. Let's drop density down. I wanted to retain the color though, a little bit of the color. So let's look at it from a distance here. Um. Okay. Let's see. I think I'm gonna change the the, the ground color too. We'll we'll get to that in a second. Also, before we do that, I gotta oh, I gotta turn on these like upper level kind of like rendering options. There we go. You can see how it's already giving a change in the color. Um, let's see. Move density up. I think the blue is a little too. I need to change the blue back to something like more in the picture. My goal here would be to make a splash, and I don't mean like on the scene. Like I made a splash on the scene, like literally um, a splash in the water, because there is a the picture has a splash in it, and I don't know how, how to do that. So, but I mean, I do know I have an idea. I just don't know if it's what I want to do. And with that said, okay, let's try changing it to that. Okay, what? Oops. All right, let's try change it to this. Let's change the density down. We'll get the okay, not that much. It's uh, I don't know. I kind of like what this one was doing, but I need to change the color. Then let's go to phase. I'm not sure what phase does. I think phase uh, moves the like the density forward and backward, so it looks like from certain angles it'll look a little bit more like it's um. Let's see. It's not bad, honestly. Uh, it's a little, it's a little, it's not as blue as I would like. But also, we can do something like this. I need to get some HR photo, HDR photos to to help uh, bring out the natural sort of beauty of these scenes. Right now, I'm not dealing with a whole lot because right now you can see uh, as I change it around, we're getting like I need like a blue sky, something like that. Right there is is fine. I feel like. So what view am I on? Am I on? I feel like I'm on free view. Let's see. Yeah, let's go to orthogonal. Get that. Uh, oh wow, yeah, that really, that really like <laughs> that looks. It does not look like what uh, it looked like a second ago. I've been building according to Freeview, which is like this orthogonal. Orthogonal looks more like that. I guess it depends on how you look at it. So something like that could actually work because that's kind of what we're dealing with here. Also, this this color here does not look like the uh, the the. It doesn't have the red tones in it that it once had. So I'm gonna change it to a little bit darker. There we go. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> I am uh I'm basing this this one off of a David Hockney painting. Um it just just because it's simple and I'm speed running a little voxel. How are you doing by the way? I hope you're uh, I hope you're doing well. It's early for me. I mean I I'm still in the process of waking up and sometimes that's a good place to be, but somewhere between like there's a there's a window of time I feel like when I wake up for the first 3 hours where I uh where my brain, the filter hasn't turned on, and my and, and all ideas are welcome. By like by noon, I'm like, you know what? My brain is like tired. It wants to call in sick to the day, you know. By five o'clock, my brain is like, no new ideas. Just put on a put on some like uh, some some video on that we can like um, we can just marathon. Put on a, a TV show we can marathon, and let's let's check out. 
Let's see, dead inside you. Um, I wouldn't say dead inside. I mean, I, I do, I can relate. I feel probably, you know, I would say uh, the only reason I don't feel dead inside is because I feel I do have anxiety. And anxiety is like a fun, that's a fun feeling to have, right? It's, it's like, uh, it's like, it's like one making you want to crawl out of your own skin sometimes. Um, and that's the only reason I know I'm not dead inside is because I still, because I'm, because I feel anxious. Um, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I've, I've learned, uh, there's like different ways to handle it, handle anxiety. Talking doesn't really, I mean, I feel like talking is supposed to help people always say, Hey, I'm here for you if you need to talk about it. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't want to, I'm, I'm going to burn you out if I talk about this. Not you, but like just in general, I feel like, let's see. Um, let's see. I got a, I got a text from a friend and I'm like, I'm always debating like how quickly do I text back? Like, you know, and it's a friend friend, not like, you know, somebody, not somebody I'm worried about impressing, <laughs> which is kind of like, that's when you know somebody's your friend is when you don't have to worry about impressing them anymore. Uh, speaking of friends. So let's see. Orthogonal view. We got a nice little, we got a nice quality to it. And I need to change the, the surface here to make it a little bit more, a little bit more red. I want to say. Let's see. Let's see. And it's also weird when you're when you're not feeling good and then somebody a friend um somebody else is not feeling good and you're like, "Okay, I should give them I should give them not necessarily advice because not everybody wants advice when they feel bad, but you just give them like words of encouragement and I'm like, "What what do what do I what would I want to hear right now?" I already feel bad, so like I got to go to like the the bottom shelf of of like ideas in my brain and go like uh, I gotta dust off some some thought I haven't had in a while like hey it's great live laugh love you're you'll be happy and then it just becomes like toxic positivity you know rather than like real reality it's like when somebody says how's your day and you're like do you want the real answer or do you want like the uh, the answer where I just go like oh, I'm doing okay let's see. All right, so I've okay. So this is just this is just the start. I need to make a palm tree or two, but at first I'm gonna make a building, my Lego Minecrafty building, which I can actually, um, I think we can actually make it Legos. Well, it messes with the texture, but you can see. Let's see. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it adds like little Lego textures to everything. Not the best. I think I'll go back to cube. There's options for how it renders. And I think cube is probably my best option right now. It's the one that retains the most properties of the of the water and the um, and the uh, the pool here. I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a diving board because what what pool would be complete without a diving board? Although I don't actually know. I've never I've never lived in a house that has a pool uh, a swimming pool like above ground pools. That was like a big deal. Like you know, above ground pool is like the pool that's uh, it, it's uh, I I knew a lot of people who had above ground pools because that was the thing where I lived. It was nobody had pools because the ground wasn't really it wasn't great for it. And then if you had a pool, it meant you were really rich. And well, unfortunately, and maybe even fortunately, uh, nobody I knew was rich. We were, we all just sort of like had uh, we all we all like swam in a ditch. If there, if it ever, if there was ever a reason to go swimming, it was after it rained and there was a ditch nearby that we would swim in. Oh, uh, let's go ten by ten by. That's that's not what I want. Let's go let's go thirty by t ten by. 10. Where'd you go? Come back. There we go. Alright, so that, that kind of looks good. I think that's what I'm looking for. I'm not sure what the diving board's going to look like, but you know, a standard diving board, I think it's going to I think it's gonna have the qualities of a diving board. It'll be recognizable as a diving board when all is said and done. Alright, so let's go ahead and pick the yellow here. I'm going to add a yellow color in. It's going to be kind of a dirty-ish yellow. You can't add textures, though, to the, to the, the the surfaces of these things in here like you could if you were doing something like in Photoshop which is it's fine um you know and I say that like it's fine don't worry about it it's fine but no it's fine it's like you can you can definitely get some uh get some stuff out of this let's see you can get some like imp you can imply certain things here so this yellow is a little too vibrant let's see something like more like that like if I had to, if I could do textures to it I would probably put like a little bit of like a uh I don't know I don't actually know what, what kind of texture I put on there. Not off the top of my head. Hey, not you. There we go. All right, cool. So I'm going to go back in. I'm going to turn this off and erase a little bit of this. 
I think like a, a diving board should have like a, like at least like a little bit of a uh, uh, like a little metal little metal like support system for it. I think I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna guess what that looks like because I don't actually again like I don't know don't know I don't know what pools look like. I, I know what above ground pools look like. They don't have diving boards. They have like you jump out of trees like you jump out of a tree, which don't don't take my advice. You know, I'm not. Don't come here for advice on how to jump into an above ground pool. But if you did, that's how we did it. We climb the nearest, uh, nearest tree, or we go down to the creek. That's what people call it. The cre a creek. They call it a creek. Uh, there we go. And now it's like that's the same word I associate with. If you have like a, a thing in your neck, like a creek, a creek in your neck, that was like another word. It meant like it meant that you would like tweak your neck. So many scientific terms I'm using here. Scientific, uh, you cr you creak you creaked your neck, meaning that you couldn't like you couldn't bend it anymore. Uh, here we go. Hey, not so bad. The kind of capture what I was gonna do here. Um, something like that, right there. I'm put you, 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 and you. Look, look, team, we gotta work together here. There we go. One more right there. Let's see, and I think the the, the this uh, this color here. I'm gonna alt, press Alt to click on that. We go to attach, attach the surface here. We're gonna pull you back in a little bit there. There we go. Um, you know, before I do that, I'm gonna come up with a little bit better of a, of a system in place. Yeah, my friend is also texting me saying like they are feeling anxious today. It must be going around anxiety. Um, anxiety. I think it, there are there are. Um, th there's highs and lows to it. You know, you go through a period where you feel good, and then uh, you're like, uh, then you feel too good for a while. And you're like, wait a second, something bad's about to happen, right? And then maybe nothing bad's gonna happen, but you know, you've been conditioned to expect bad things to happen. So then, when bad things don't happen, you're like, I need to make bad things happen so that I can. This anxiety will have a place to go. It's like sort of like having an itch that you can't scratch. So then you're like, I just, I, I need, I need a. Uh, I need I need uh something something to tie this anxiety to so that I can I can have it t tied to something rather than it just be this this like feeling that I can't like I can't uh Let's see. Yeah, my friend is saying I'm trying to like trying to give them good advice without like coming across as being like some you know because sometimes people just give they give advice that they think you want to hear and like yeah well you're no you're you're great and you're doing this thing and you're doing that thing and it's like yeah but that's not really the point of what i'm trying to say so i'm trying to figure out what i can say without like sounding like i'm just like giving them what some might call lip service lip service being like uh, just telling them what they want to hear what i think they want to hear rather than what they they should hear and that's the problem Usually when I give advice, if I give advice, it's like, uh, it's advice that I wish somebody had told me, you know, and I don't want to do that. I would rather, I'd rather like listen to them and be like, I think that's usually the bigger thing. It's like, not that, that people want advice. It's that I think that they just want to be heard, you know, for what it's worth. I think people just want to be heard. Where are you? Okay. Right there. Let's get rid of that. Wait, why are you doing that? Here, there, there you go. There we go. Uh, that looks like I don't know. I mean, I guess that could be like a little thing. That could be like a like a pool, a diving board. Let's go ahead and do. I'm gonna stretch this out to like 50, because I want to add in like a little step maybe. And that'll be the end of that. So I'm gonna draw it right here. I'm just gonna use this as like kind of a template. Oh wait, yeah. There we go. Do something like this. Okay, I'm gonna make a little surface here. Just gonna attach like that, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go back through and erase a couple of these. I'm just gonna make it like a little. And I'm gonna make these like uh. I, don't know, I feel like I feel like pool. If you're gonna have like a step in a pool area, you should probably make it like with a with a rough surface. So I think I'm going to change this surface material up there to something a little more matte. And I'm going to go back through and change all these materials anyways. Um, I'm going to make this a little bit shinier. And then let's make this one. Okay, cool. Let's do paint. Um, let's paint you this color here. 
kind of like that. I mean, it's going to be metal, though, so it's not going to look the same in a second once I add the material properties to it. But, hey, that's life, right? And then I'm going to change the surface of this one. Wait, no, I'm not. I'm going to change the, the these right here. These are the metal ones. Cool. All right. So also, uh, I think maybe this will be better if I do this. Change, leave that there. It's going to be a minor, minor problem or minor like visual thing. But once it's all said and done, I think you know we're, we're going to get here uh, a few things. I'm going to change this to like a, a metal material, but not because I want it to look like shiny, but because I want it to like have that sort of glistening, uh, reflective quality that plastic has. And I feel like, uh, yeah, sorry, I sniffed into the mic. Um. Let's see. Um. Let's see. Okay, so uh, there's a store here called Party City, and um talked about this yesterday party city is a store that sells like uh balloons and and like like cheap plastic things that that you use to make decorations and i don't know i, I don't like places like that uh, ultimately like they, they they like i think when i was young young i really i did like them i liked going to places like party city uh because it's, you know it's like a wonderland for for like when you're young it, it's like all the imagination that you have um um it's like, you know, it's all captured in this one building. There used to be, like, Toys R Us was always a fun place to go to, you know? But it was always one of those places that if I went with, like... Like, so, yeah, we didn't have money growing up. And, uh... So, if we ever went to Toys R Us, my parents would be like, Alright, we're gonna go in here, but we're not getting anything for you. We're getting something for your cousin. And why was why would they get something for my cousin? Well, you know, it's like, that's the only reason we would go is because they were getting a gift for, like, another family member. Uh, and, you know, not that that's, like, a... I think that's like a bad thing necessarily, just that like, you know, they we never go and then the only time we do go is whenever it's for somebody else. So, you know, you go you go in there and it's your one time to be in there. And uh, I think I'm gonna make this bigger. Uh how much bigger though? Let's let's try you know, I'm gonna scale the whole thing. Let's do let's go hundred by twenty by twenty. So the one time you do get to go in there, you know, it's like you're you're not I'm not gonna be well behaved. I'm just gonna be like, I want everything in here, and my parents are like, we're not here for you. We're not, and it's like, well then why'd you bring me? And it's like, they brought me because they didn't they, they you know they didn't have a babysitter, or something. And uh, so there's a store called Party City. So now I have this like contemptuous relationship with places like that that are designed to be these the, like these amazing, these amazing like uh, like uh, just collections. Uh, uh, like, um, let me see. I gotta expand. I got a, I got a party city hangover. And let's see. And I, okay, so hold on. I'm texting my friend here. So, I'm wanting to. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we'd always, we'd always go to this place called Party. Like, Toys R Us was a place. That I think it's the only thing I can really think of uh, in terms. Let's go. Let's, yeah, let's double it up. Let's see. I, my, I made the mistake of on my last one of, uh, of my last uh, picture, or the last Lego city that I made. Um, I made the mistake of, of, let's see. Okay, I got a couple of issues here from, from the thing I just did. I made everything too small, and I want to kind of like avoid that this time because it, it's like once you from a distance when you when you take the whole picture in, like you want you want it to, to everything to kind of like see. I just doubled the size, and I think that's fine. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, I don't think I did anything wrong there, so I'm gonna stick with it. And I'm also going to hit uh, Alt, grab that color, and we're gonna paint these little spots right here. <laughs> Um, here we go. Let's go to erase. I want to erase these little steps right here. I'm just going to pick the surface tool here, this one up there, and we're going to get you, get rid of you, get rid of you, and I might leave it like that. That's kind of fun, but I do want to get rid of, get these out of here, and I also want to, like, make sure that I'm, uh, this isn't just floating, you know, violating the laws of, of gravity. 
again, it's just a program and none of it really matters um, in terms of, like, you know, I can violate the laws of gravity all I want with this program. But as far as, like, just con visual consistency goes, I'm going to go ahead and, and, like, make sure that I've... I'm, I'm dotting my I's and crossing my T's. That's like a that's a thing that adults. That's when you know you're an adult when you say that phrase. I'm gonna I'm gonna dot my I's and cross my T's. And then like, yep, you have graduated officially into being a, a, like a an adult. Now you're gonna start talking about like uh, like what's another adult thing that people talk about? Uh, getting your car inspected. Like oh my god, I gotta get my get my get my car inspected. Um. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Hold on. I'm, I'm still texting. I, you know what? I should have, I you know what? Like, it's weird. Sometimes you sit down and you're like, okay, I'm going to do this thing finally. And nobody's, you know, it's just going to be here. Uh, I'm just going to be working on this thing. And then it's like, that's the day that like somebody is like, Hey, can you talk? And I'm like, I just hit, I just hit like go go live. So hold on, I'm going to, let's see. Let's see. All right. Okay. Cool. Let's see. I'm gonna build a building now. Let's say. Let's get down. Let's get down to it. What can we? What can we do here? Okay. So I want to pick a color that's got a little bit of more tan in it, but some red, because I think the building I'm gonna be building is. It, it looks. It has that color of sort of like a Adobe red. Um. That, that being said, I think I want. Okay. So I'm gonna have to like compromise on on a couple of things. Mostly the the compromise being, um. I want to do, let me grab this shape here. I'm going to change this to, oh, okay, that's good. All right, I'm going to add a little building down here. This is the building that's going to be in, uh, it's going to be in the background. And I think I'm going to start by, uh, let's go to attach, attach you. And I think I'm just going to like, kind of like fill it in right about here, right about to something like this. The colors in this painting are really are really fun. It's a little too big though, so I need to move it back, um, which means I probably need to create more space here. So let's see. Unfortunately, the the, the first cube here is as big as, it's, as it can get. The, the biggest you can make them are 256 by 256 by 256, and as a result, um, let's see. As a result, you end up with a. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and add in a roof now. I'm just going to do like, this is why it's a speed run, because I think I'm almost done with this scene. Uh, the, the thing that's going to take the longest is making these palm trees, and those are going to be pretty fun to make, I feel like. And, okay, so the way, that, so this is how I make roofs. Um, I go with the orthogonal side view, and I go to this right here, and I grab the color that I want, and I'm going to make like a little, uh, go to attach, make like a little... From what I can tell, it just overhangs a little bit. So let's do this with a line here. I'm just gonna go straight diagonal. It doesn't have to be that big. I think something like this maybe. Yeah. So then we go from here to here, and then um, so this is gonna be one side, and then we're gonna do the other side the same way. And this is where it like takes a little finesse. Uh, same thing. Do something like that. I want to say. And when we when we combine these two shapes, we'll see. See, okay, yeah, we're gonna get the we're gonna get the building design the way we want to. So I'm gonna go to attach. We're gonna grab this. Uh, I'm gonna click on eight here, and then we're gonna go ahead and like make this like this. I'm gonna do this all the way over to here, and then I'm gonna do this over here. Uh, here, control Z, control Z. Thank you. And then uh, let's see, one more, one more. So here's where the issue light like comes in. Okay, it's like now I got it. Now I gotta do. 
uh, each of these like individually until they intersect. So we're gonna go here. Uh, here, I'll, let's start with the bottom. There we go, and then we're gonna do one, two. Just gonna kind of go one at a time here until they until they line up correctly. There we go. And you can see you start to get that overhang that quality. It's just a little bit of a. Uh, it just takes a little bit of finessing. I would say maybe finesse isn't the best word, but there we go. Uh, and also, I think what I need to do is erase. I got like an extra, extra one here. So let's erase that one. And ooh, okay, they're fighting me. I, let's see. Uh, art project. Here we go. All right, so let's erase this a uh, little little bit right here because it looks like there's one extra. Okay, so this is what I wanted. Attach here. See, it's something like that, maybe. Just one at a time. Go like right there. Get them all. I'm just gonna get them lined up. And then uh, let's try that. One more. Perfect. Perfect. And I think we got like a little bit more to go. That's good. And then okay, now I think we're kind of like. Uh, let's see. Cool. Okay, so I think that works. Um, I can see that that the one on the front here is a little it has an extra bit of thing. So that's probably that's a, that's a tec technical term, architecture, a bit of thing. Uh, I think that looks good, honestly, compared to um, the picture I'm looking at. I think that looks about as good as I could have hoped for. So now the other thing I can do is grab this and just do that, um, which I'm not going to do because that does that. When this is this, I tell you what you want. I tell you what you get. You get away from me, and the ocean breathes salty. There we go. All right, so we got this like kind of like this, this design going on. Um, uh, let's go to render, and I think that I like the color, but it's it's not looking as red as I would like. But I think also that has to do with the rotation here. There we go. Um, and now it looks kind of orange. It has to do. With, it's probably because of the the sky has some greens in it, and the green is bouncing off the uh, red color with a little bit of the. Uh, um. Yeah, it's bouncing off of this with a little bit of uh. A little bit of the green, so it's like red and red and green make kind of an orangish color, I guess. Maybe, you know, I am no color theorist. I don't think that what I do is in, it involves theory very much. Um, let's see. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and pick, uh, just slowly pick some more colors here. Um, okay, cool. I think, okay, so now the next thing that I want to do is, I want to go model. I want to pick, I got this shape. Uh, I'm just going to freestyle it, meaning that I don't really know, um, what it is that I want to do. But I'm going to go, I'm going to drag this down here. I want to say it's going to look something like right about there. And then I'm going to go make these maybe, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to make these too wide. Not like too, like not like as in it's, oh man, it's too wide now. Uh, like literally, like I'm just going to make it like two units in width uh, on the side there. And then, uh, let's see. Okay, so, um, okay, let's try this. I'm going to grab you from here over. I'm going to go, that's one too many. You from here over. Grab all those pixels, control C. Uh, let's go. Let's go to here. Uh, let's tab into the the world view. I'm gonna grab this shape and the Control C, Control V. All I'm gonna do is um, take everything except for the the building that I'm working on and delete it. Just uh, get rid of it. You're out of here. You're done. You've done your job. Get out. Get out now. Uh, <laughs> I don't know who that was. Uh, who am I channeling there? Um, okay, so let's do let's do this. Get get rid of everything except for that that wall. That like sorry that, that like a little bit of the white there. Um, uh, let's see. I'm gonna grab you. You're done. And then I'm gonna grab this this layer underneath. There. Now I'm gonna go up here and constrict a shape. There we go. So now we have what it looks like a pretty straightforward kind of like um, design. Uh, so I'm gonna pick this white color here again. I'm gonna do what I what I did a second ago. I'm just gonna double up on the on the go to attach. Go, there we go, and then I'm just gonna grab and attach or drag it up. Let me, let me erase one of those. 
There we go. Let's attach here. Wrong thing. There we go. Let's do this. Here it is. All right, cool. All right, so there we go. We've got... That might actually be one too few. I might have done three. So there we go. All right, so now I'm going to hit XY tool because I want to um, create some symmetry in this scene and it's easier sometimes to do it this way. Uh, so let's see. If I So if I do this, yeah, we should get the one, the single one on both sides. And I think that might be too big. So let's go... Uh, let's go here. And honestly, since I'm doing, um, since I'm doing, like, two, three on the side, I'm gonna do two right over here on the top. That way these, these single lines will look a little less, they'll have less weight, and it'll look a little more balanced in the scene. Cool. Alright, so I just need, like, a couple here. Something like that. I think that works. And then I need one more directly in the center. So i got to find the center. And you can find the center by, if you have the asymmetry tool on, you can see there that it's directly. And because of this, we can do something like that. So now you got what will become, uh, These are this is going to be glass. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hold the shape. So I'm going to go to modify, click on hole. All that does is uh, if I hit erase with the surface tool up here, this one, and then hit erase, it's going to be hollow now. See, now it's completely hollow, and the reason that that works is a uh, hole just hollows out anything that you can't see. So if you have a block and you hit hole, anything that you can't see will become, will be hollowed out, and uh, something like the, in the whole interior will be, become uh, available to, what am I trying to say? Yeah. Basically that, I just hit hole and it, and it hollowed the entire block out, and then I deleted this outside shell. And it, and it reveals that I had anything beneath that shell has been hollowed out. There we go. That, you know, maybe they, there's, let's, uh, let's just call that a win for today. Th that description. I am not a teacher. I would never, I don't think I'll ever be a teacher. I don't think I can, I don't think, but here, let me get rid of that. I don't want, to. so I'm going to turn off the Y, I think. There we go. So I'm going to make this three thick on the inside, uh, mostly because I want to put like a pane of glass in the center piece here. And the one I'm using for glass is going to be this is wait yeah it's gonna be that one so uh super simple just gonna grab gonna start adding in little pieces of glass here these will become i'm gonna make these highly reflective because in the painting they are reflective there we go there we go um cool okay so we got we got the glass now i'm gonna go to attach here let me back out of the building the right way. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna do the glass just yet because I want to get inside here still. Um, so now I need a color that's like uh, a dingy sort of yellowish curtain, and but that means it needs to be a little more tan and a little darker. I think that's kind of a good color right there. Let me do that. All right. So let's see this real quick. Okay, so there's curtains in the scene. Uh, they're not. They're not really like prevalent or dominant in the scene, but they are there. So. If I do something like this, and then go to attach here, something like that. It barely comes through the first first one. And how about that side? I'm assuming that I'm just going to leave it on symmetric um, for now. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach the occasional one behind here. These are like floor length, you know, I think floor length is the right word. They go from ceiling to floor. That's the thing here. So I'm going to do something like this. Just to simulate the bunching up of curtains, and I'll show you what it looks like in a second. Um, okay, cool. All right, so now we've got that, and then uh, I'm going to take off the symmetry tool because now, just go inside here. I'm going to try to find the third, the, the center column here. This one right here, it's the center column, and it is, uh, there's another curtain, just kind of like dangling here, here to here. It's not very big. It just kind of peeks around the corner of this centerpiece here. And I think because of that, I might want to delete the, uh, the, uh, there's another curtain that appeared. Whoops. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Keep going. And then I'm going to take a single line here. I'm going to grab and drag this down here. Let's do something like that. Right there. Just a little, just like little by little one step at a time here we go all right cool there it goes 
So I'm going to erase this whole thing here. I'm going to click the surface tool, hit erase. I'm just going to go boom, you're done. And then there we go. Okay, cool. So uh, the next step is let's do attach. Here, hit alt. There's no doors on this building as far as I can tell. So um, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to worry about like the visual. Like, okay, cool. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about the the visual. Like, like I, I feel like if you see a building and you don't see a door on it, you're gonna be like, wait a second, something about this doesn't make sense. Um, there we go. Let's do this. One more. Oh yeah, I should have just turned on the symmetry tool. Let's see. Bum, bum, bum. Let's see. Oh yeah, a tree fell over yesterday at my dad's house, so I gotta help him cut it down. That's that's in, that's exciting stuff. It fell over onto a. It was like a big storm that came through. go streaming for 42 minutes uh this is this is why we're speed running this one today um i'm also going to uh let's see this will just take a second i'm gonna erase the this one right here oops wrong thing i think yeah i don't want to do that control z so let's see cool i don't know i'm making plans Making plans is always uh, nerve-wracking. It's always nerve-wracking. I, you know, I, I'm like one of the kind of people who will like, who will, like, I'll make plans, and then when the time comes to execute said plans, I'll be like, uh, you know what? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm not that person anymore. Here, let's see. I think if I can get it from the side here. Uh, yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why past me promised you that I was going to be around. You know, I get, I get, I definitely get anxiety about about uh making plans and things like that so i'm gonna delete this here and here all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go back to the x tool or the x coordinate up here i'm gonna hit uh alt and drag this up a single pixel i just want to kind of like balance out the scene Oop, wrong thing uh, i want to balance this out a little bit more and i'm not sure if there is a better way to do that than like maybe something like this let's see it just seemed like it was a little off off balanced in terms of the, let me hit Alt, grab this. You know, I wanted to like uh, cut these into thirds, I guess. Grab you, Control Z. Let's grab this color. There we go. Um, let me grab this color again. Drag you down here. I could probably, I could easily count it and measure it. I think I'm just gonna like, I'm not gonna worry about that. You know, not that I'm afraid. Something like that. It looks a little more balanced. It's still a little off, but I think also with orthogonal view, it's you're not gonna like notice too much. So I'm gonna bank on that as being the. Uh... So that's that's that. I just need to um, go back into the main picture here. I'm gonna delete uh, everything on this building from here over. So let's go to orthogonal. It gives me a dead on view, and I'm gonna delete everything from here over. And I think that's going to be okay, because now I'm going to drag you in. Oh, whoops, wrong thing. I know what I, I shouldn't be doing. I'm going to delete everything from here over. Meaning, I'm not going to I'm not going to get the roof. Like, I want to leave that top part. I'm going to go ahead and do... Is this, this may not even be dead on. Yeah, I'm going to undo that then. You can get some real problems if you're not completely dead on. You will delete pixels you didn't even know you were that you had. And nobody wants to do that. All right, so I'm gonna drag you back in, click on you, slide you over. Here we are. We got we got like the piece is now like it's now perfectly aligned. Um, let's hit render, and let's go to Alt. Let's grab this uh, particular color and go to glass. I'm gonna go to transparency. There we go. We got you can see the curtains in there. Uh, and then if you do index of ref reflection, we can go turn the roughness down. We get a little bit of both here, I think. Uh, 
uh, something like that, right? It's it's looking fun. I'm gonna have to add in some palm trees behind the building here in a second, but I think it'll be okay. And the other thing I can do is <clears throat> I made some palm trees yesterday, and I could just import them into this. It's super simple. You just go to, uh, um, you know, I say that. Okay, let me, <laughs> let me. It's super simple. Let me let me see if I can remember this in the next like 20 minutes. Um, okay. So one thing I'd like to do is maybe pull this back a little bit more. But first off, I'm going to. Um, let's see. I'm going to put some grass here because there is in this picture there is grass. So I'm going to go to here, grab the little tool. Uh, let's see. Drag it down. I don't even know if anybody would really even like. I just chose this picture because it had only a handful of colors. It's very in, like it's very uh, distinguishable. So let's go. Um, let's go 40 by 10 by 10. My thinking is, yeah, I want to like create a space that the grass can be here because it's just like there's just like a little couple of bushes right here, and I think there's an easy way to do this. It's just a matter of, um, um okay, so it, it actually touches here, and then it goes almost a little bit further over. Okay, so let's go, let's go sixty. There we go. And I want to say maybe sixty-five. I'm not gonna be exact, you know, because I don't think it would. I don't think. It, yeah, I think that's good though. So now we're gonna put in some grass. I'm gonna make this a little less wide. So I'm gonna go maybe uh, let's go five. I don't want the grass to get too unruly, unruly. So now I just need to pick some grass color. Uh, it doesn't need to be. I don't need much. Just enough to like kind of symbolize uh, that there's variations in the grass color. You know, enough to make it give it the randomness that the grass should have. Um, what is something else that I can do here? Okay, so I'm gonna hit uh, Control Alt and drag over here. We'll make a spectrum of colors, and then also, I think maybe let's do. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make this instead of five white. Let's make it like three. And then my thinking here is I'm going to I'm gonna do like a kind of a pixel art style of uh, of of gradation. So I'm gonna pick the darkest one. I'm actually gonna make it even darker now, and then I'm gonna pick this one here and make it a little bit darker as well, just so the gradient I pick is a little less like a doesn't doesn't the colors don't like fluctuate too much like it's okay to have like something like that in there so i'm gonna pick the line tool and go to attach here and then we're just gonna kind of like uh do it seems like it kind of it kind of like uh let me turn off the x x one okay it seems like it kind of goes something like it kind of tapers on this side here uh and then in the center Just gonna kind of get some variations in there, and I'm also gonna like. Let's see. Let's see, just a little bit at a time here. The grass, maybe with something like that. Yeah, it just doesn't have to. It doesn't have to all be like straight up. You know, it can be like a little. Little variation in the uh, how it looks, kind of look like little people, right? That's 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 a that's a sign. Of, that's a good sign of health, mental health. These look like people. So my thinking here is that I'm gonna have like the darker grass at the bottom, and then right here maybe something like that. Uh, maybe even a little bit taller here. So let's go to paint. Because I don't want to add any more blocks. I'm just going to paint. I'm going to kind of start up here. It's a little too bright. So I don't really want to do that. Let's see. There we go. Something like that. Something like that I think looks good. Uh, I'm going to go to erase these extra little pixels here. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm like, I'm on the fence. Not really. I'm, I'm just like, I think that looks fine. Uh, and also, I think the color should be darker now that I'm looking at it. So I'm going to go even darker. And I'm going to change uh, you to a darker. And what color are you? Shift or Alt grab this color. Control Z. Sorry about that. Or Alt this color. Okay, so. Yeah, just, just enough to where you kind of get some variation in it, but not enough to where it like really sticks out. That looks kind of perfect, honestly, com from, from the drawing that I'm looking at. Um, 
Yeah. Okay. So two things I need to do, and I'll be done here. Um, one, I would like to. Uh, let's see. I'd like to add in the palm trees, and I think I think I know how to do it from here. So let's go to, uh, what was yesterday? Let's go. Yeah. Okay. So let's go here. Pattern. Let's grab you. There we go. Okay. So we'll grab you. Does that work? So if I go to the if I go to model and click on the star tool, does that work? Uh, let's see. Here, I'm gonna hit save on this one so I don't accidentally delete anything. What's today? The 29th? It is. It is the 29th. I don't know why I'm so surprised, but hey, I'm, I think I'm just more surprised that I uh, I remember the date. All right. So before we before I do anything, um, let's go to attach. Star tool. Um, let's see. Let me create a new shape. Maybe I can do something like that. Let's go 100 by 100 by 100. Or well, whatever. We get it. There it goes. Okay, so this is this is the this is the one I'm using. Uh, that is not. I need to make that taller. Let's go 250. Six. So this is the this is what I used yesterday for a palm tree. I think I'm using uh, the colors that I'm using are, are not lined up. So it's it's white rather than the color that it was yesterday. So then let's go back here. So I'm I'm not sure how to use this this particular tool as well as I should. So let's go let's go to new one. I do kind of wish I could just drop it in. Uh let's go here. Wait, did I is that what is that that just happened? Yeah, it did. Okay, cool. So then uh let's go to the next one cuz I made multiple uh like leaves. Let's go to add it in. There we go. Cool. So these are this is some palm tree I made yesterday. Some palm tree nonsense that I I was working on. Uh, for a particular, let me rotate you just a little bit. I'm rotate you about the Z axis. Get that kind of like, there we go. There we go. Let's bring you in as well. You know what? I think we got something. I think we're, now we are, as my, my dad might say, cooking with fire. Which I think is a fine statement to make as far as what we're doing here. You can see here that we've got these palm trees you know I'm, I'm always of the opinion like you know every project should start uh, and finish with like it's all of its own assets and own design ideas but i am also okay with speed running a little bit sometimes and just making something that um you know give myself take give myself a break why what is it i don't have to make everything difficult not that i do but like why why start from scratch there we go it's off a little bit. It's hard to tell. There's the leaves are all kind of like blending together there. But you see that right there, right? Like that that makes sense. Okay, so now I'm gonna go inside this one. I'm gonna hit uh, Control A, and I'm gonna actually gonna pick some um some other, some more green. Actually, I think I can use these greens here. Let's go to the tab in into this one here, top one. Uh, I don't want to use that tool anymore, so I'm going to change it to paint, and I'm going to pick on this, uh, control A. I'm going to change everything to, uh, let's say this, like, darker green. And then, um, then I'm going to go back and pick these colors here. Uh, let's see. And then I'm going to go in and paint a yet one, once again. I'm going to do the paint bucket tool. Uh, control Z. There we go. There we go. You know, and then uh yeah, and Control Z. Um, let's see, here, Control A, do something like that, and then here we go. Let's see, can I paint these a different color? Let me pick something a little bit lighter then. Cool. All right, so we got yeah. So that that's like the colors are starting to come together. Uh, let's tab into the other one, and then Control A. And we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to pick the darker green first. I've got a paint tool, paint bucket fill. Then I'm going to pick the second colors here. Um, I think, yeah, these are all lined up according to the color from before. I'll have to show what that looks like so that it's easier to see. And then I'm going to pick uh, these outside ones. 
and I'm going to drop in this this like less darker color. Still dark, but not darker than the uh, original color. And I'm going to go through. It looks like there's some more here. I'm going to pick that. I'm going I'm to go back to this one, I think. Oops, wrong thing. Here we go. Pick you. And I'm going to paint paint bucket fill this thing. So now we can see that the uh, palm tree is like basically basically done, except for the uh, the tree itself, which I want to change to a kind of like a wood brown. Um, I don't know. I don't think a palm tree is brown. Um, interesting. I think it's it's not definitely not the brown that I want though. I think of them more as like a tan or like a t I don't know what the color is like pa tallow pal uh, like fallow tallow. It's one of those. It's something like that. Okay, you're good. I want to grab the other box then because this is off a little bit. I think. Just want to make sure that I'm getting everything spaced out accordingly. Um, here we go. Then let's see. What color are you? Alt. That color. Okay, so that's going to be like a little bit lighter shade of brown. Um, not much lighter though. I don't want it to like be that contrasty. And then here we go. Let's pick you. And you get to be... Um... I think that kind of works for my purposes here. Cool. Let's go to render, see how that looks. Yeah, I mean, like, it's pretty much all there. Everything that I was planning on doing today, as far as this is concerned, it's all it's all coming together. Hockney would be, I think Hockney is, is, is alive, so I don't want to say Hockney would be proud, but Hockney would be proud. Um, let's see how to make a splash. That's, that's going to be the last thing I do. I'm going to go ahead and hit, um, I'm going to grab these control C and V them and I'm going to rotate them around because I want to do, I don't, you know, I'm going to make, I'm going to go easy on myself here. Uh, the thing I want to do is probably something more like this control C V like in the, in the, in the actual picture, the palm tree doesn't, doesn't really, uh, doesn't really, um, doesn't have this curved bottom to it, so what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to take these these pixels here and kind of like just m warp them, manipulate them back around. So I'm going to grab, go to orthogonal view, which I'm already in, and I'm going to grab something like this. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and do something like this right here. And I'm going to go something like this right here. This is just like the, uh, this is how, whenever you do like delicate procedures, you got to go, and then I'm going to do something like this right here. And I'm going to drag you over and do that. I'm gonna do this right here. I'm gonna drag this over, and we'll do something like that. And then we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna grab this, and we'll oh, and we're gonna do this. We're gonna grab it like this. You know, that's that's how you know that it's it's a delicate procedure. And then we're gonna do something like this, and that'll be that'll be that. And then also I'm gonna do this real quick. I'm gonna do something like this. I'm gonna drag you over, and then I'm gonna drag this over. There we go. Oh, and then now we're gonna move this over. Because this being moved over will help move that over. And I move you over. And we're going to do something like that. That's kind of fun, though. I think that kind of gives it an interesting little look to it. And it's it's still curved here at the top. And I don't think I want to do that. I kind of want to make it more straight. Um, that As it is in the picture. Uh, that I am using as a guide. So here we go. We'll just do something like that. And then let's, let's, let's move it like this. Let's make a little, let's make a little thing like this. And excellent. Excellent. That's the thing. Even if you make a mistake, you can't you can't admit that you made a mistake. Because I don't think you can make mistakes in art. I mean, I get, you can. You can definitely make mistakes in art. Like I've seen restorations. Uh, I've talked about this before, but I've seen restorations of like people who restore pieces of art, and my God, they've I've seen them get like botched. Again, like I use the word botch. Uh, you know, you don't use the word botch unless it's like plastic surgery or tattoos. You know, it's like, man, my tattoo got botched. Here, let's do that. And that that usually means that it suffered from irreparable... I'm going to drag these down a little bit. And I'm actually going to drag this down just a, a, a shade, too, just to get that there. All right, here we go. Uh, tab out. Double-clicked on it accidentally, so that's why they both moved. Okay, here we go. You come with... Let's see, I'm just making sure that this is, like... Sort of centered a little bit, you know, as, as good as I can get it. I, I'm, this is like me, not, not my, not my forte, not my fifte. Um, sorry about that. I won't. I won't ever joke like that again. Let's go to render. But yeah, so now the palm trees look different enough. We've got. Uh, I want to 
take ye old square here, control C, control V it, and I wanna I wanna drag it over to here. I don't really need much from it. I'm just gonna go in here real quick. Let's go tab in and I'm gonna go uh erase uh everything that's not the pink, like this bottom, this main part of the structure. Get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you. And then I'm gonna I'm just gonna fill this in with um something. Let's go alt here. I'm gonna go to attach this right there. I just want to create like the illusion that this this like ground goes on for a little bit longer because I it's not even like the the point necessarily. Like I don't wanna be I don't want to see too far off into the distance. And also what I would rather see here is um here, I'm gonna grab all of these trees and move that over. I think what I would rather do is see, let's see, I wanna make the sky blue. Uh, and by that I mean probably the background. So the ground needs to be blue. Because when you're in orthogonal view, you, you tend to see the, the the background a little bit more. So something like that. Um, it's it's coming together, It's it's like right there. All right. Again, I'm speed running this this whole design idea. I'm gonna take a photo of this real quick to send to a friend. Let them know that I'm like what I'm doing. I don't know. I just like to I like to share. Sometimes. All right. Cool. I think this tree. This one's fine. This tree probably should be a little bit more. Uh, hit shift, grab all these. I think this one should be a little bit more over here. And then I'm also going to kind of maybe pull it forward a little bit. Not all the way forward, but just enough to kind of like indicate. So they, the, the, there's not a lot of overlap there. You can see they got some overlap here. But I think that works. And then I, I'm a fan of the, uh, the, the background being like that. So also what I'm going to do then is I'm going to take this thing. And I'm gonna erase the uh, the pink up until about where it, the the trees are resting on it. So we're gonna go to erase here uh, like that, just just because I wanted to. Uh, um, okay, just because I want I want I want the blue to kind of like be visible a little bit sooner, like that right there. Yeah, that's good. Let's see. There we go. I really like these kinds of colors. All right. So the last thing I need to do is, uh, as you can see, which you can't see, but as as you if you could see, you would see that there is a little like director's chair, like a director's chair, meaning one of those like um, things with the cross legs with a like kind of like uh, fabric back. You know, I don't know how uh, there's a better way to describe it, but. Uh, Let's tab into okay. What are we gonna? What am I thinking? So I want to I want to get proportions here because it's uh, it, the 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 uh, the chair itself is like only about as tall. It's not very tall. Uh, that's 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 one thing that I know is true. Compared to the the glass here, it's it's not forty units high. It's probably more like let's go twenty five, and that might even be still too tall. Let's go twenty. So I'm not gonna have a lot to work with here, but that's kind of fun because we'll we'll see what we can come up with. Let's go 20 by 20 by 20, and I think that might be perfect, honestly, for the purposes of this this picture. Um, the only thing I would say is that it seems like it's probably right up against the the like right about here. Um, let's go to let's just let's see if we can make it happen. I'm gonna use a I want to say make the legs like maybe darker black and maybe make them. Um, all, all told, maybe make them like a uh, so something like it's something like this. I want to say let's go to attach. Uh, there we go. Something like that, and then something like this. And so what we're looking at now is I need like a canvas, like a canvas off white kind of like kind of like material. So let's go something like this. Right there. So that's going to be like the chair. I think it's a little too wide though. Something like that. 
And then also right like right about here, I want to say. Uh, so the point being is that we're going to go ahead and hit attach. Let's see. What happens if I do this? Wrong thing. So whatever color you have selected, it will do... Um, let's do something like this. Click Alt. Grab that. These don't really need to be much bigger. Um, and then from the side, what I will do is... So this X right here, I don't, I'm not going to get rid of a big chunk of it. So I'm going to select all the pixels from one side to the other. We're going to do that. And now you see we've got like a, like a just a thing, like a little chair. So this is what I meant by director's chair. I'm sure you, we've all seen like, you know, whenever somebody's in the movies, they're like, like if there's somebody's playing a director in the movie. Uh, let's go back to four here. Click this color. And I'm just going to make like a little bar to go there. That kind of like gives it a, uh, gives it like a little bit of a, uh, I think also I'm going to go be dead on view of this. I'm going to delete one of these center pixels here. I'm just going to go, boom, you're gone. Point being that I think a little, the I think if it's less, less wide, it'll be fine. So I'm going to grab you and I'm going to drag everything over. Press alt. Something like that. Uh, let's see. That material, I, it's fine. I think the color's fine. I just want to like change it up a little bit. I don't want it to be white because we have we have things that are already white in the background, and I want it to look a little off. So, and then the other thing I want to do is hit attach. Click on this color, uh, the like the the metal part. We're gonna attach a single like pixel here, just to to show that it's like connected to something. Gonna maybe even do. Um, Change it to free view. If you're in orth orthogonal and you try to see under stuff, you, the, the whole scene will go over you. So if you go to free view, you can actually get in there like that. So let's do something like this. Boom. Um, here. Boom. 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 Boom worthy. Total boom worthy moment. And then um, I feel like I feel like this is just going to add in a little extra, uh, little extra layer here of visual consistency. From a distance, you you know, it may not even be visible, but I do think that that kind of works. It's a little, it's still a little big. Let me go to, uh, maybe I can go to erase here. Click this. Let's see. Uh, wrong thing. Okay, let me uh, constrict the shape again. There we go. All right, so erase. I'm just going to go pick the surface tool. We're going to pick that. There we go. I mean, I think I don't know. I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I, I don't think I would have put the chair in there. Um, I don't think I would have put the chair in there on a on a typical day. Um, now we need the splash. What am I trying to say? I don't think I would have put the chair in there as like a design choice, but I do think that it it's necessary if I'm going to be doing the if I'm going to be sticking to what this picture looks like. You can type in uh, David Hockney a bigger splash. If you want, and you can see what picture I'm actually like using as a guide. Uh, I've made, I've taken some liberties. I'm using the diving board as a. I'm putting it on this side rather than like over here, and I put a little thing here. Um, point being that, um, that let's go model here. Okay, so I'm gonna take. Uh, or sorry, the the reason I'm adding in a couple things and taking liberties is just for the framing. I don't really. There's a lot of stuff in here that I think that like. Uh, that uh, there's a lot of stuff in here. That I think like you know it doesn't translate well to two three dimensional surfaces like the way this does because it's a two dimensional painting. So I'm gonna use this as a, as the splash also. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick um, let's see pick some of these colors here. Let's, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and make. I'm gonna grab like some light light blue. Some of the just some light light blue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this right here, hit shift and drag it over. Sorry, not shift. Uh, control and alt, drag it over. There we go. And then I'm going to hit control A so I get all the pixels selected. I'm going to click on from here over. I'm going to go to random. And now we can see that there's like a uh, a kind of like a, you know, a, a multicolored thing here. And this isn't even really what I'm going to do just yet. Um, that's like, that's not the splash. Uh... So I'm going to pick uh, the, the wand tool. I'm going to start gathering colors from the ones that are random in there. 
And then I'm going to go do it again. I'm going to go control A uh, in here. And I think it's selected. It's hard to tell when it's white like that because you can't because it highlights them in white. And I'm going to go random again. Now we've got a nice assortment again. I'm going to delete some more. Oops, wrong thing. Let's go here. Delete you. Delete you. And then also I'm going to do one more time. I'm going to do random. Control A. And hit random again. And now we can see that there's like less less like particles in here. I'm going to delete some more. Something like that I think works. Now I'm going to hit control A. I'm going to hit random again. Uh, it's hard to tell, but they, these are all selected, these colors. And then I'm also going to like make the box bigger. Let's go 80 by 80 by 80. And my thinking here is I'm going to hit control A and hit and then press control and drag this up, the whole structure. I'm going to go to the uh, transform tool, which is these the cross here. Then I'm going to go to the three-dimensional one and drag it to, to kind of give it like a little bit of a... Uh, like, you know, like the water's not just all coming up straight up. It's It's got some direction to it. I'm going to go uh, back to constrict the shape up here. This will bring the box down to just that that size that it's in. So now the other thing I'm going to do is go to order. I'm going to make it last because uh, I want the water here to have, uh, to have uh, what you would call it, like, preference. I want the, I want the, the when it renders it, to be to, to have the preference of the of the splash to be behind uh, I'll, I'll show you what I mean <laughs> I'll show you what I mean this is why I'm not a teacher uh, the other thing I'm going to do is hit render and we're going to start we're going to start messing with these materials and these materials I'm going to make them all like glass I, I'm not going to make them all glass I'm going to make some of them um, some of them glass I'm going to make some of them cloud uh, let's see something like that maybe change the density up and then um, basically I just want to like I just want to like get them to be. Let's change the roughness on that one. There we go. Make you glass. Let's make you cloud. Here. Let's make you glass transparent. Uh, let's see. I don't want. I want the density to be there. I want the color to be there. Is all. Let's make you glass. Let's go transparency and density. So I want the density to be like a certain color. Let me see if I can change these. Yeah, something like that. Now that now we're like kind of getting into the the this is where the style choices come in. Like, what color should it be? Also, that ran, that rendering is going to be a little hard to see. Let's see. Uh, change the density up here. We're going to change it to glass. I'm going to change the transparency down. And I'm also going to change that color to something a little more like that. Let's change this back to white, maybe. Um, yeah, why not? And then I think one thing I want to do here is I want to add in one more shape. And from this, I'm going to, I'm just going to add in a, like, just a layer of mist. My thinking is I want, I want the floor, I want this, this down here. So I'm going to tab in, I'm going to create a new color here. It's going to be probably like light blue and white. We're gonna do something like this. Gonna go to attach, and we're gonna go to the surface, the surface tool here. We're gonna go to attach. I'm just gonna kind of do that, and um, I'm gonna change the. Let me. I'm gonna change the order to last as well, so that'll put it behind even the one I just created. And that way, the I'll give priority to these these little uh, freckles in the in the water, aka uh, splashes, splash droplets. So now you see the you can see this here. I'm going to change it to uh, cloud, and I'm going to change the density there, and I'm going to put that there. And I want let's see, phasing it will. So as you can see, what I'm trying to get in, uh, what I'm trying to imply there is that there's a little bit of a splash in the water, and I think with the, with the way it is, let's just move it down like a little bit there. Let's go render one more time. I'm also gonna probably delete uh, some of it because it's a little, like it's a little boxy, and I don't want, I don't think like smoke would be boxy like that. So let's go to erase. Oops, wrong thing. 
uh, tab back in. I'm going to go to erase and I'm going to pick single pixel. I'm just going to kind of like randomly grab some stuff. So it doesn't look, it's not all just like, you know, it's not just a square. It doesn't have like the symmetry, which I think does kind of create like a weird little, there we go. Let's see. There you go. So now we've got like a little cloud with a little bit of, a little bit of, uh, we got a, we got a little Hockney, right? Like that's, that seems fun. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change my dimensions up here to a thousand by a thousand. It's going to mess with it just a little bit. We'll see here. Uh, I think the background should be, I kind of like the blue. Uh, the way it is, but let's let's try it one more. Let's see what else we can do because the blue in the picture is actually a little bit more blue. It's more like this color. And then uh, I'm gonna change this to like let's go to two thousand here. Basically, all this is gonna do is make it um uh it's gonna make it like a little uh clearer, a little cleaner. Um. And then, uh, is there anything else that we can do? I've got, uh, I think I've got like a pretty fun, I think I've got a pretty fun scene here. I think it's all kind of represented in the way that, um, that I would like it to be. And, um, let's see, I'm just, I don't want to mess with anything. I think that we've got, yeah, I think we got what we came for. So this is like a little, uh, David Hockney style, um, you know, building. I might do more of these. These are pretty fun. It only took about an hour and 20 minutes or so to make, uh, start to finish. You know, I had some help with the palm trees that I made yesterday that I was able to incorporate into this. Um, that being said, like, I'm pretty happy with this. So I'm going to, I'm going to save the picture. There's a bottom down here, the little icon. This is one thing you can do. Um, let's go to save. The, okay. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I think one more thing I want to do. You got some camera angles or some camera stuff you can work with here. You can give your picture a little bit more film quality. Uh, it'll bring some of the colors to life a little bit. Uh, you can go vignette to kind of like give it, you know, give it like a little emphasis on that. Uh, I don't think I need too much of that. You can go depth of field here, which I don't really think I need on this drawing uh, or on this particular one. Because I think it'll like, um, because it is a two-dimensional picture, I think like putting preference of one plane over another because you can do that on a three-dimensional thing like this. I don't think it would give, do us any favors though. And I think if anything, it would just detract from it. So let's do that. Uh, I turned the aces up to about three. I turned, um, what else have I done? Yeah, I think, I think it's good. I think that like the only other thing I could think of is maybe, uh, messing with the reflections, but the, I mean, it's all there. So I'm gonna let this render, um, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna snap a photo, and I think I'm gonna probably just post this on social media or something. And I think that'll be it. Not too shabby for uh, an hour's worth of streaming. Like I said, this is kind of a speed run. So, all right, let's do this. Save you. And uh, yeah, that'll do it. Thanks for hanging out. I'm gonna save the the whole thing as a as a whole, the whole thing as a whole. You know. And uh, we'll catch you, we'll catch you next time.